Hey guys, welcome to the show. As always, JB here, excited you're with me. And here is Neo today. Everybody asks for Neo once in a while. He's chilling on the sofa back here watching. I wasn't going to do a video today, but Stephen uh, Prosser, one of our subscribers, sent over uh, this an email on this Top Joy Butterfly here. And so you can see it's a new pocket-sized True Color DES screen e-reader tablet. Sign up now for a limited 40% off launch day special. Well, as you know, we've been talking a lot about the Riken Stone, a Ring Stone kind of color DES e-paper device, Android 11. Same thing as the Top Joy one. And my concerns with this Kickstarter, because they've raised a million dollars, and now I don't know what they've raised here, 1, 44, you know, $488,000. And I'm worried about what this device is going to do. I am happy that they have been uh, posting some updates to comments here. But, I, you know, it's just to me weird that now we've got another one. Now, these are smaller. And according to this, they claim to have a black and white PPI of 300 versus uh, Reinkstone's Stone's 280 by 150 PP color. So here is the new Top Joy Butterfly. And I went ahead and go, went ahead and signed up for it. And so here you go. Thank you for your subscription. Please check your inbox. So I got the inbox, and uh, it says reserve now. So if you click this, okay, here we go to Stripe. And again, it's that ninety-nine cent deal that the last company did. And the other thing too, they have a. I'll bring this over into the screen. A Facebook group. I got Stephen stuff there. A Facebook group of 25 people, and that was the same thing that Reinkstone did, right? The same thing. So here we go again. We've got another DES color tablet. These are off, you know, smaller, 6 inch and 7.8 inch, $159, and they're getting ready to do another, I believe, a Kickstarter. So what what's going on with these companies? Reinkstone, Top Joy, are these companies or are they just subsidiaries or small companies of the manufacturer who is putting the devices out and they found a way to go ahead and do this? Now, I believe the manufacturer is in the same city, uh, Shenzhen, China. I want to make sure these two are made at the same, um, same company. And it makes sense. Like it makes sense that a manufacturer, which most of these devices, in, in, in a sense, that's the way they work. You know, they, they find a company to manufacture and they private label. Totally cool with that. My concern is um, there's a lot of similarities to a, a lot of, you know, one, we had the one failed Kickstarter, but these are like the same thing. It's like the same thing coming out the exact same pattern. And I guess in business, you can follow success, right? If somebody did it and raised a million dollars, then you should be able to raise a million dollars. And maybe they can create these really cool devices, right? And their promise is November 2. So they're saying they're going to come out in November 2. So what it looks to me like is the manufacturer is working with these small groups and it is the same. It, it's really just a manufacturer, right? And they're branding it in these different ways and pushing these tablets out. How they're going to work, well, so far, the reviews I haven't seen are that great. I've never gotten my hand on one. Obviously, we know Voya's never gotten his hand on one. We're getting a few updates, which is great here in Ring, uh, Ringstone. I hope I'm saying that right. So they are saying they're doing a survey, and they're, they're doing some updates. Uh, their Facebook page, um, let's go ahead and check that out, hasn't been that updated. Let's go in here and see. Let's go ahead and just check it out since we're here. Um, let's come up here and go into Ringstone and see what they're talking about here. So there's 3,512 3, here, uh, July 9th. Successfully funded, we saw that. I'm not gambling, but I snagged the server of a discount that someone gave up on. That's July 22nd, July 22nd, July 22nd. So I'm not seeing any real updates. So it's going to be really interesting with this ring stone and now top joy coming to the, you know, creating their own Kickstarter to see what people are going to get. That for me is the most concerning thing. You know, I get the whole Kickstarter thing that you're taking a big risk and a chance, but it's just, I don't know. To me, there's so many red flags that, okay, we've raised a million dollars, right? And then all of a sudden the same manufacturer, I'm assuming this is an assumption 
is now coming out with a six point inch and a seven point inch, and they're utilizing a different kind of marketing tactic using a different company calling it the Top Joy Butterfly. So personally for me, I'm staying away from Kickstarters. I will buy all the devices or get them sent to me. Most of the devices, as you know, I've bought. I've got the paper. I've got uh, the books color devices here. I have the Remarkable 2. You know, I, I don't mind spending full retail to save a little bit of money on the risk that I'm going to get something that doesn't work. The software is not very good. It's clunky. I'm hoping that these companies are successful. I just find it really a weird way to come to market doing these Kickstarters and, and, and trying to make this happen. And I get people fighting for the underdog you know, when you have books out there and Remarkable and those other companies, this industry is just weird. I mean, the Remarkable had some issues with shipping. They take the money before. Um, you know, I get it. These are smaller companies. But there are ways to get investors in your companies to do things differently. And I just am more worried about the consumer and my subscribers in these deals. And luckily, you know, we've got a great community. Steven sent his stuff over so I can stay ahead of the game here. Um, right now, this one is just going to be coming out, so we're all going to see it. But these DES screen, it seems like the manufacturer is trying to strategically work with specific companies to push their product, which I get it. But what are we really going to get when we get the thing? And how much support are you going to get from Top Joy? How much support are you going to get from Ringstone when you get the device? Or is this just a million dollar, you know, grab and move on? I would love to hear your thoughts in the comments. Again, I wasn't going to shoot a video today, but this was just so interesting to me to see. Here we go again. You know, another $1 special limited time. Uh, put your email in. Get ready for the launch. And this pattern is just kind of repeating here. And they're going to deliver in November. It's going to be a really interesting November and December when these devices come, how they work. These guys are e-readers, which I think are a little bit better to claim note-taking, which is really the hard part. But this is going to be an interesting end of the year. And again, like I said, I would love to hear your thoughts in the comments. What do you think about kind of the way that they're pushing these devices and the whole Kickstarter, you know, kind of way to generate revenue, I guess, to push them? All right. So thanks for watching. As always, just a real interesting thing for me. The new Top Joy Butterfly. You can now get a, in there for a dollar for $159, you can get a, a e-ink device, color e-ink device with DES screen technology. Boy, is this going to be an interesting end of the year. All right, thanks for watching. Another video coming soon. Let me know your thoughts in the comments. Is this a controversial thing? Is this something you believe in? Or is it just another way of doing business? As always, thanks for watching. I'll see you in the next video.